Diamond Head is an extraordinary landmark on Waikiki's coastline, renowned for its significant military importance, historic hiking trail, and awe-inspiring views stretching from Cocoa Head to Waianae. Embark on an unforgettable adventure at Diamond Head, where nature and history seamlessly blend together. Please use caution when implementing anything from the video, as I am not responsible for dangerous circumstances you may experience while traveling and hiking. The Out and Back Trail is just under 2 miles long, just over 500 feet in elevation gain, and takes about an hour to complete. All Trails rates this hike as moderate, and I agree. Be sure to utilize trail maps on all trails to prepare and navigate effectively during your hike. Use the link in the description for a free 7-day trial. The main obstacle is the last tenth of a mile due to the steep incline up all of the stairs. The park is accessible daily and throughout the year except for Christmas and New Year's Day. This hike is suitable for kids who are fit and experienced. Note that pets, bicycles, and strollers are prohibited on the trail. You can use strollers if you're only using the facilities on the crater floor of Diamond Head, which is also ADA accessible. Consider visiting during mid-April to early June when temperatures are milder, or from September to mid-December when the weather begins to cool down. By choosing these optimal times, you can enjoy a less crowded hike, experience more comfortable temperatures, and reduce the chances of encountering rain. There is an entrance fee and timed reservations are required. Use the link in the description for more information. There is a paid parking option, however if that isn't available, you can get dropped off or park elsewhere and still enter, which is what I did on Kilauea Avenue, but be sure to pay attention to parking signs. Restrooms, water fountains, vending machines, and a gift shop is located near the entrance. It is generally recommended to consume approximately half a liter of water per hour during moderate activity and moderate temperatures, so you should aim to drink at least a half liter of water. To enhance hydration and prevent muscle cramps, I prefer adding electrolytes and creatine to my water. Check the description for the zero sugar hydration travel packets that I mix in convenient one liter flexible and collapsible bottles. Thanks for watching. If you want a text-based version of this video, I put a link to my website in the description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below, and share this with someone who you think might want to go on this hike too. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.